Hi guys and welcome to my lab. In this episode, we are going to be testing out this, this right here. And this video is of course posted after the hydrogen peroxide video, the elephant toothpaste one. So if you look closely in some places in the video, you probably have seen that, which I just showed you. This beaker, and you might have seen some petals floating around in it. Because in that beaker, guys, is hibiscus rose, hibiscus or china rose extract, which is actually an indicator. It's a chemical indicator which you can easily make at home. Just put some hibiscus petals in water and boil it. Hibiscus flowers have red petals and they have like a stigma coming from between, which has like little grains of pollen around them. So you can just easily identify by that. So. In this video, we are going to be testing this and its so-called indicator properties. Ooh. <laughs> because hibiscus petals actually have some kind of indicator extract, I mean a dye, which actually reacts to different types of bases and acids. Now, I don't have acids as I used all of my boric acid in the slime, I mean the disodium tetraborate making video. So in this experiment, we are going to be only testing it with bases. But trust me, it actually also works with acids. Because if it works with bases, why wouldn't it work with acids, you know? That makes a lot of sense. So here is my test tube in which we are going to be performing the experiment. And the color change is not that good, but it you can easily notice it if you put it in bright sunlight. So yes, that's where we are going to do it today. I'm going to be sitting on my sofa there and pointing the camera towards the outside of this room so that you can get as much as exposure to sunlight and as and you can see as much as color change as I can do on my own. So let's get started. First, I will keep my camera here because why not and keep my stuff here and once and there we go, caught my prill. And now we are going to be making and we are going to see the color change in this thing. Now here is the sunlight outside. But first I want to see the original. I want you to see the original of the color, color of the extract so that you don't get mistaken. So here is the test tube and here is the hibiscus extract. As you can see it's a bit reddish purple. So I am going to put this in here my camera is showing that it is detecting this as a flower and technically it is because when you take photos of flowers it just makes a flower icon of a bit and technically my camera it is that means my camera is equipped with artificial intelligence or something that's really not the case it just took mistook the beaker for that now here is the extract and here it is seen in the sun it looks pretty odd textured you no know? Yeah, it looks like some kind of transparent blood test or something. And here is our prill which we used in the hydrogen peroxide video. As you can see, it's blue and it's the same prill that we used in our previous video. So that I'm going to add this into this and just notice the color change. Did you see that? See, it's getting lighter. Did you see the strand of that between that? Yeah. Now that denotes his chemical properties now this thing is happening with me again the big camera is not picking up the color as nicely as it is supposed to but trust me the color is changing but when i actually saw this in the previous video that this similar issue occurred it actually came right in the video so i guess i was wrong and i was only seeing that so let's put more of this pill in here there you guys can see it's getting a bit transparent on the top and that is the original chemical reaction which is happening. So as you can see it has gone a lot lighter than it was before. Now let's compare it in the in, in a bit darker place. Now compare this and this. See I'm <laughs> that's really not it's not showing that well, but if we put it in the sunlight. Look at this, this is much darker even though it is probably the same consistency and look through this. You can even see the reflection in it, it's so dark. And look at this, I evenly spread them in up 
and this shows a very distinct sign of a color change and that is the actual reaction which is occurring so guys yes so that was the original experiment which i was planning to do and it did turn out successfully the hibiscus extract actually changed its, changed its color so you can do this experiment very easily at home and uh, as i told before in the video by getting some hibiscus extract by boiling some hibiscus flower petals so hope you like this experiment and leave a like comment and subscribe for more bye bye